Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode of Vulgar Display of Gaming, where today we're going to be talking about our favorite bands we've seen live, bands that you should check out, and the albums that go along with those bands. I'm Shane. I'm Javi. And we're going to kick it off with a killer fucking band right now. What do we got up first, Javi? So out the bat, we've got Fugitive's new 7-inch that came out earlier this year, Blast Furnace with Standoff. Uh, they, are def- they are one of the newer bands. Uh, they are a band consisting of members of Power Trip, uh, Creeping Death, ANS, and they are incredible live. Uh, we were very fortunate enough to catch them at uh, the last Psycho Vegas, and uh, they, they were real killer. I think that was only like the third show because they were doing a bunch of shows in Texas too. And they right off the bat, they sound like a band that's been around for years, as they should be, because they're all uh, members of bands that already are currently still, you know, either making music or touring. Um, they are led by Blake, who is the the lead uh, guitar player for Power Trip. Uh, I think he's also like the principal writer for a lot of these songs. So uh, if you know Power Trip, they're, you know, on the crossover thrash kind of things. Uh, and uh this one is also crossover thrash, but with a little bit more death metal, thanks to uh, the front man from Scourge. Uh, his delivery is a little bit more like John Tardy's, um, and it definitely helps uh, push that music forward um, in a different way from Power Trip, while still sounding familiar to like you know the songs that Blake gives us on Power Trip. Very, very energetic band live. Uh, it'll get you up and moving, jump in the pit. There was the time we saw them they were playing one of the smaller stages at psycho las vegas and it was just a fucking great time so definitely check them out when they go on tour i know they're going to be putting out a full length soon hopefully i hope so So we'll see what happens and we're going to keep an eye on them and up next we got another good killer maybe crossover i'd say yeah crossover yeah. yeah uh enforced this album's kill grid their newest album is war remains, war remains. <laughs> But this band is great live, too. Uh, I've, I've seen them twice. Javi, you've seen them about... I think five times now. Five times, 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 times. I'm so Super nice dudes, though. I've met them and uh, talked to them. Super nice dudes. Great, great crossover thrash. Uh, speed, do it fast, got some fun riffs. Um, you'll get up and jump off the stage to this shit. So. Also, they're one of the few bands where both guitar players play leads. And the way they trade off leads on record and in person is just something to see. It's it's incredible. It's always a fun time. I'm sure to get even the oldest of oldies in, out of like mosh retirement, you know? Yeah, definitely a fun time. What else do we got coming up, Javi? We got Gate Creeper with Deserted. Uh, they are one of my favorite death metal bands. Uh, they are just killer, like... If you if you know modern death metal, this is it. They they are at the very top, I think. They have released an EP like I believe it's been a year now, right? The year since their last EP. No, I mean I mean like their EP that they did with Close Cast. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they made a really interesting one where it was like seven like you know almost like grindcore esque, uh, very fast paced song. Yeah, and then one super like funeral doom song, and it was just incredible. Uh, right now, they're currently signed to Nuclear Blast. They have not released an album with them, but you better for sure check that out when it does drop because it'll be probably, you know, at the very least, a top five album on that said year. I believe they're currently in the studio. Nice. Or they're starting to like, I saw some recently. recently just saw some. I'm definitely looking forward to that. <laughs> The right. Gate Creeper is a very fun time live. I've been fortunate enough to see them way too many times, at I'm, least. At I'm least. sad to say this is the, the first year where I'm missing them since they yeah. debuted. Yeah, like I've seen them every year for the past, I don't know how many years. Yeah. Uh, caught them first at Psycho Las Vegas. That's a great festival if they uh, hopefully bring it back next year. Uh, a lot of mix of bands, a lot of... Uh, last year they had Bone Thugs and Harmony on the same stage as Suicidal Tendencies. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway... Gate Creeper, great death metal band. Check them out. Check out Deserted. Check out their uh, Sonoran uh, Deprivation. Deprivation. And check out their last EP, which was great. And up next, we got another fun, fun death metal band. Party death metal. Say we. Say say us. Say us. <laughs> On death. Uh, this is uh, To Rise From The Grave. Uh, this is their second album. Only separated by two years. Um, I remember when I first heard about this band, uh, 
remember when he was alive, he would have this segment on one of the metal sites where he would just like talk about a uh, anything that he was listening to, and uh, most of it, like pretty much every every release he would show off would always be killer. And this was one of them. And when he first showed him off, uh, he actually appeared on uh, their first album. They guest vocals on that, um, and uh, they're also a band similar to Gatekeeper, where their rise has just been astronomical. Like the tours that they've been getting on. Uh, they're just always a fun time. Uh, they are definitely more of the, their mission statement is basically like, you know, we're not trying to do like, Hey, come to the ritual kind of like, you know, death metal bands. It was like, they just want to have a good time. A lot of their lyrical content's like very like on the nose. Uh, it's very fun. Uh, Kyle is like one of the, I believe he is the main songwriter and, uh, main songwriter and lyricist. And like, he just knows how to make a, like a good Campbell corpse worship, uh, death metal album. How about you, Shane? What do you like about them? No, they're awesome. Very good live, very fun, um, traditional death metal, Cannibal Corpse Worship. If you like that kind of death metal, you will absolutely love Undeath. I highly recommend them. This new album was so fucking great. It made a lot of top 10 lists, a lot of year, end of the year lists. So it's a, a band not to sleep on. If they're coming to your town, definitely go check them out. And for something else we got coming up that's very, very fun, talking about jumping off stages here, we got... Knock Loose, Knock Different Loose. Shade of Blue, their most recent album. No, this is the... Uh, <laughs> no, most this recent most, full most recent album. They, got, they, they released EPs, but they it's not their most... EPs. Yes. So this is their... Uh, their most recent album. This came out in 2019, Different Shade of Blue. They released two EPs since, and those EPs have just only continued what this album uh, trajectory has like, been set for. This what, one. What's, wait, what's the other EP? You have Tear the Fabric of Time. And the two sing, and the two uh singles they dropped. That, that they dropped oh, on the on yes, that yes, uh yes. I think it was like a twelve inch. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. That, um, yeah. They just put out a new song. Deep in the Willows is very good. I forget, I forget the other one, but it was also really good. <laughs> so the fun. reason I forget is because they made a music video and they both came out at the same ah, time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, they didn't get the Grammy nomination. They they, they were trying to aim for with that, but. The fact that they got on that, you know, that preliminary list is like really impressive as well. Especially since there's a lot of like death metal and hardcore don't usually go on those uh, lists, so um, it was really cool to see. Their their brand of uh, hardcore is more on the metallic hardcore, but th the way they separate themselves from the others is like they infuse a lot of like Swedish me uh, death metal riffs. Um, and my favorite part about this band is like the contrast between Isaac. Who is a guitar player and second vocalist on the band and then with brian's vocals brian's vocals are a little bit higher on the register uh while isaac's are a little bit lower death yeah, metal that, that contrast right there kicks ass and it brings a different level of seeing them live yeah absolutely as well as brian garrison uh Garris, Garris? brian garrison garrison has done such a great job of like being able to like bring other artists on albums as well as like this album had he had uh emma booster from dying wish, dying wish on here, as well as keith buckley from every time i die and he just did a song recently with emotionless and white called slaughterhouse the song and what else he's been, he's been featured in a lot of bands he's also started another band called weapon x it was a uh uh, it's like an earth crisis worship yes, kind of band yes. um has members of harm's way in it as well um it's really cool if you're into that, you know, that vegan straight edge um, metallic hardcore, then that's up there alley, oh, too. Definitely check out Weapon X as well for his other project. Uh, but Knock Loose, they just played even Coachella this year, which was crazy. Yeah, they got a lot of people who, you know, wouldn't be at a metal show. And they, they were even jumping through in the pit and everything. It was crazy. I I was so jealous that I wasn't there, even though I'm not a, big on the whole Coachella scene. Uh, the fact that, like they got so many people to like just get on stage and yeah. like crowd surf it was insane it almost like maybe that they go... were playing even a main uh like main kind of stream music festival is great they brought this music to them and it kicked everybody's ass yeah i believe that's actually where they debuted their their newest dp there too because we yeah, haven't heard about that's it right, and then, that's right yeah that's right and then what else do we got we got another fun band coming up right here that just completely blew up where i was fortunate enough to see them and got a Bunch of uh, band signatures. This is uh, Turnstile, and that's Super Glary. <laughs> this is Turnstile Nonstop Feeling. This album is great. I'm uh, pretty sure... They released two albums after this one. Uh, 
you do not know what Turnstile is, clearly you don't even listen to the radio because they even have their songs being played on uh, mainstream radio off their newest album, Glow On. They also had that Taco Bell commercial. <laughs> they were on a Taco Bell commercial as well. I was fortunate enough to see them at a smaller venue. I met some of the guys. They're all super nice. And they've just skyrocketed in popularity. They went on a Blink-182 tour. They still are hitting that kind of hardcore. It's bouncy. It makes you want to jump off the stage kind of music. It's just if you haven't heard a Turnstile, you should definitely give them a listen. I've seen them now three times. Yeah, I've seen them, I think, at least twice now. Uh, Turnstile are one of those bands where, like, you go to their live show, and then it's just a mix of people. And when I mean a mix, you have your emo kids. You've got your, like, you know, your regular, like, office workers and stuff. you got, like, metalheads. Yeah. You've got goths. you got surfers. you got so... There's such a variety at the show. It's insane that, like, they're able to pull from so many different, like, areas that, you know, people... Usually just stick to one genre. And I think they did a show earlier this year, or was it last year, where somebody shit in one of their pits. So you can actually go find that video. <laughs> yeah, do not yeah. shit in the pit. Don't, don't shit in the pit. No shitting Please in, no the, shitting pit. in the pit. Please do not shit in the pit. Anyway, Turnstile, great band. I hope you could check them out. Uh, you will not be disappointed if they're ever around. What else do we got coming up? Let's see here. Uh, one of my, you know, another hometown band, uh, God's Hate. This is a uh, members of Twitching Tongues with the frontman. Um, he's a wrestler from AEW, Rody King, and uh, this this is definitely uh, uh, up there with like the Marauder hate breed worship bands, but they do it in the best way possible. They even like put some like sprinkle some death metal here and there, uh, and it, they're just incredible. They've got three guitars in their lineup right now. Uh, they're in the most recent album, God's Hate. Is just uh, they're self-titled. It is incredible. Such a such a life awesome is thing. hard. Be harder. Great fucking song. Great lyrics. As well as they have a song called God's Hate on the album God's Hate by the band God's Hate. <laughs> the they classic. are from the 818 out by my way out here. I'm not too far from where they're at in LA. Um, they kick ass. Definitely go check them out. Very fun, fun band. Here, there's a whole video of where the uh, lead singer Brody King is jumping off, demolishing people into the crowd. It's a great fucking picture. That dude's like 6'5", almost 300 pounds. Motherfuckers were even like popping fireworks in the pit. <laughs> insane show. Yeah, insane show, insane lineup. Uh, they are just incredible. The, the, the Colin, who is also the lead singer for Twitching Tongues, mm-hmm. he, he pretty much wrote their most newest album all by himself. Um and uh, you can like just tell how much blood, sweat, and tears alone from each song like he put into it. It, it wasn't. He's just easily one of the best songwriters in metal, in hardcore today. What brings us up when we're talking about Colin Young is uh, you have all the bands he's been in and all the bands he's produced. Like, oh, it's that's Taylor. Taylor Young. Taylor yeah. Young. Uh, Taylor, who's also in the band, he's a guitar. He 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 joined the band. This he is, is now why, in this band. This is why you're here to correct <laughs> me. And my metal knowledge is lacking. But yes, anyway, Taylor Young produced this album as well. And if you're, you know, if you're living under a rock, Taylor Young has recorded so many bands from, from Suicide Silence. Studio. Yeah, yeah. His from his studio here um, in Van Nuys. Well, it's not here anymore. Unfortunately, it got vacated. He had to vacate. Uh, so hopefully, he has a new setup soon because he's easily one of the best producers in the game right now. Yeah, he's done uh, shit for Drain. Switching tongues. Switching tongues. God's hate. Suicide God's silence. Hate, suicide silence. And many, 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 many more. I'm yeah. pretty sure like there was at least like ten releases he did under like his his name alone. Yeah, which is insane. And he's just multi talented artist, as well as producer. Everything. Guitar player, drummer. Guitar he does player, it all. Drummer, drummer sings. You know. Yeah. Anyway, that's a killer band. God's hate. Check them out. And then it brings us to Twitching Tongues. Uh, killer band as well. We just recently saw them, our first time seeing them. Yeah. And if you like hardcore mixed with, uh, I think they have some traditional metal riffs as well as some good chants, good, good, like, sing along. Yeah, so they're actually a band that piss off a lot of their own scene because, like, um, when you think of metallic hardcore and metalcore, you know, most of the time it's like, you know, the vocals are the scream, death metal, apartment. Uh, but 
for, for this one, he does a lot of clean uh, singing, uh, which is definitely not something you you normally attribute with this kind of music. You know, there's some a lot of like do doomy or death metal riffs that they do, uh, but then you just hear him just like you know singing, and it's just like it's such a weird contrast, but it works. It's so good. Like check out the witching. You know, we're gonna like, again. There's gonna be a live clip in here right now. But you pretty much need to check one song, and then you'll see immediately what I'm talking about. You'll you'll hear the whole be like, oh shit! Like, why is it working? Yeah. It shouldn't work, but it does. And so it's so there cool. you go. Witching comes. Check them out. And then another band. Going is in is this band right here. Taylor. Hey, Taylor Young. Yes. Taylor Young. Taylor was a drummer for this band. <laughs> Sorry, they, they are in a lot of different bands, uh, so I, I won't you know I won't get on your ass about it. But anyway, two brothers. <laughs> I've met him before, and he also does his own podcast called Hard Lore. Go check that out. It's oh really yeah, definitely cool check that too, out. It's really cool. Where he interviews all the bands, and it's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, but anyway, and, anyway, nails. This band is amazing. This album is "You Will Never Be One of Us." It's their right. most recent release. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I like that. It's the uh, Kind of hidden you have to get the reflection in there but you can see the nails you will never be one of us yeah great they are also a californian man and yes uh taylor was uh, a member of this band not anymore unfortunately but he was the drummer for this band and uh it's it's incredible how like fast he plays in this album they all look very angry. yes they're very angry individuals this is a very angry album i would say this is uh Almost along the lines of like grinding core hardcore. Yeah, there's a, there's a there's a lot in in these notes. Despite the nails records being so short and lengthy, yeah. like the first album was like maybe 11 minutes. But anyway, yeah. like there's there's grind, there's power violence, there's metal core, there's death metal. There's so, it, many there's so much genres popped into this album, and it's all incredible. Their second album in particular was just real like frightening. It almost like it's like you couldn't believe a person was actually like playing all this music but anyway uh they are incredible uh we unfortunately to this day only caught them live once one time at one metal time. beer festival it was great yes but again check out nails if you want something fast something heavy something brutal yeah that will knock you on your ass check out nails the album is you will never be one of us and uh, now we're on to another band that was produced by the pit studio. Uh, no, well, yes, they were produced by, but let's talk about drain first. Let's talk about drain. Oh, first. we forgot to mention drain. Yes. Drain, a good fucking hardcore band coming from Northern California. I believe Santa Cruz. No, no, uh, no, no, no. San Epa Frisco somewhere, right? I think it was Santa Cruz actually. I think it was Santa anyway, good NorCal hardcore band. Drain, they have, First album was California Cursed. Yes, California Cursed. Uh, such a good album. I've only seen Drain one time. I've caught him twice. Twice, uh, baby. Oh, he's lucky. I uh, saw them at uh, Psycho. And that show is insane. Were you talking about people jumping off the stage left and right? Oh, here we go. Even the security were cool with it, and they're usually not. So that no, was, it, that was down in Vegas. Remember, they were like, hold the line. There was no, a no, no, but I mean, like the line of security. They were like, don't get up on stage. And people didn't give a fuck. You get up on stage. When Drain says get up the fuck on stage, you get up the fuck on stage. <laughs> get on the fucking stage. But yes, they are a hardcore band. Uh, they mix a lot of crossover thrash into their riffs. Um, and it's just very fun and very energetic. Uh, you know, it almost, you know, brings me back to like the Slayer days. Uh, the early Slayer days, back when Slayer would also like dabble into like their, their punk tendencies. But uh, yeah, like... It, they are incredible. The, the bouncy, very bouncy riffs. Um, the fact that they only have one guitar player, it, like, it's just like crazy. It's yeah. insane how full, like sounding the band is with just one guitar player. I mean, come on. And just the way the front man, I forget his name. Fuck, I'm terrible with it. I forget I forget his name too. Anyway, the way the front man carries the crowd, he, he wants you to participate. And you will. You will be like, fuck, I need to get up there. His like, energy is infectious. It is When it is he's incredible. doing a chant, he fucking has the mic right in front of your face and you're singing along with him. It's insane. Definitely check out Drain. Don't be afraid to get into the pit. I'm too big and fat to jump off the stage. <laughs> Nobody will catch me. So I never do. But anyway, I'm always, I was up at the front watching them. It was a great time. So then next, we got another band that was recorded by Colin Young. Taylor. Taylor Young. <laughs> 
<laughs> every time, every I'm time, going to forget. it's two okay. Bro- two brothers, two and brothers. I'm just forgetting it every single fucking time. Tokyo Doomcore, motherfucker. Yes, this is a Japanese band, Cruelty. Cruelty. And we just happened to watch them last night too with twitching tongues, and they are fucking amazing, amazing, and the nicest people ever. Got them after the set, and they uh signed my vinyl, and the um. Bassist and guitarist are dating, and she, the uh, bassist, signed in. She did a little nice little heart on there with some kanji on there, and you know, and then the singer is right there. And she was very nice. She was like, Domo Arigato, or Arigato, you know. And I was like, Oh shit. It's the stable, of, like the kind of a stereotype with metal and hardcore, all this shit. Everybody thinks they're gonna be a bunch of assholes and everything. Like, damn, that dude's probably a fucking asshole. These are the nicest people ever, I swear. It just throws you off. Like, what? As most metalheads are, shout out to Cowboy. Yeah. You're just like singing about killing people and shit, and then you're like really nice. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, uh, I, I love Death Doom. I cannot express that enough i love death doom so this is death doom mixed with hardcore and it's incredible there's no other band that sounds like this not even remotely close uh the fact that they're from japan is also what sets them apart um japan is like their underground is also littered with a bunch of punk so it makes sense that a band like this has a lot of punk in them uh and uh, i'm just glad they're one of the few uh acts that aren't from america that are actually touring because touring as you probably know is super hard right now Mm -hmm. for international bands but they've made the trek here at least four times this year alone yeah this year alone and it's it's incredible the drive that this band has um i try my best to support them every time i have like i always buy merch from them it's just uh, i keep wanting them to come back they are incredible don't get me started on merch like i i just we have too much merch we have too many vinyls. We have too many fucking shirts. It is nonstop, and it should, like, I'll never stop. I, I I will tell you right now, all these bands we're shouting out, go see them live, go pick up a shirt, go pick up an album, and support them, because this just grows our uh, scene, our genre of music, whether it be hardcore, thrash, or death metal, and it just continues to grow with better and better bands. I will not, I will refuse to say that this genre is dead, there is so many up and coming bands, and what else do we have to say about Cruelty? They just kick ass, uh, right? Yeah, just recently, uh, they their lead singer didn't want to be in the band anymore, but the guitar player took over on vocals, and they still sound incredible. So the f- the fact that they jump back from usually a big hurdle in metal, as we all mm-hmm. know, jumping from a different vocalist to another is always a, like a tough call because you know you have to, the fans and stuff to worry about and your own sound. But they sound, you know, st- they still kick ass. So I'm looking forward to whatever releases they do next. And hopefully I catch them very soon because uh, they, they pretty much, they even said at yesterday's show that like California is like a second home to them. Yeah, they absolutely love coming out to where we're at in LA. So again, check out Cruelty. They're from Japan. They kick fucking ass. Tokyo and- Doom Corn, motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. And to wrap all of this up, we saved. Not in any particular, these weren't in any particular order. Yeah. But a really kick ass fucking band by a really kick ass front woman, and I've still yet to see them. And it pisses Sucks. me off. Dying Wish. I was fortunate enough to finally catch them live. Uh, they opened up for Hate Breed earlier this year. Uh, their brand of metalcore is more uh, uh, like the very early 2000s, like, you know, the At the Gates metalcore stuff, like Kill Switch Engage uh darkest hour um they are incredible uh they just recently dropped symptoms of the survival um i've been i literally was listening to their album on my way to to shane's place uh i cannot stop listening to this album this is definitely at least uh, i don't even know i don't even know what to rank them i'm sure they're like top 10 or something but like uh, they're they're crazy good they're so good dying wish is a great band combines uh uh Clean vocals and a hardcore uh, tone. And it's just how they mix everything together is just so fucking good. And I forget the. Uh, Emma Boost. Yes. I just shouted her out when she was on the Knock Loose album. She has an amazing voice. She knows how to do clean vocals as well as just her growls, her guttural, visceral scream. It just knocks you right on your ass. I'm happy to say that it also translates well live, too. They, they sound yes. just as good as they do on records. Uh, but yeah, like the, the, 
the Swedish, uh, you know, at the gates uh, guitar worship is like really present here, which I'm a huge fan of. Uh, there's so much of it, and I love it. I cannot like express that enough. Um, unfortunately, I cannot get the album back into <laughs> just for getting damn sorry. album. <laughs> but I'm but sorry. yeah, uh, no, Dying Wish. Check them out. They are a great band. I believe they're from Oregon. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll put, we'll, we're definitely going to have all these bands in the description as a list so you can always remember which bands to check out, as well as maybe we should start getting better at time stamping this so you can check it out. Um, and we hope you enjoyed the live clips that we've been playing throughout this video as well. And I just want to say, everybody who has uh, watched any of our videos, we are just getting started. We are not, we're still learning what the fuck we're doing. But we appreciate you sticking around. Please join our Discord. That will be in the link below. Please interact with us. We're going to be rounding up the news for you. We want to talk about what we're missing out. We want to talk about new metal. We want to talk about so much more. Yeah, absolutely. Any, anything at all. Like, I, I love checking new things out. So please, 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 like, a small, any recommendation, even if we heard it already, just post it anyway. You know, we want to see what the everybody else is listening to because that's the, beauty, the beautiful thing about this not only this community but the the, the video game community and um above and beyond that stuff absolutely again in the discord we will have all the tour announcements popping up for you we want to be a one-stop shop for information that we find out we'll round up the news for you but and we will always give you sources you can go read the full articles we'll always tell you what new bands are coming up what we enjoy listening to we will never do reviews on here. I'm not a fan of album reviews because that shit's all subjective. We just want to shout out bands we enjoy, and we hope you can show us bands that you enjoy that we've never heard of, and maybe we'll start shouting them out too. Absolutely. So again, from our uh, very cramped uh, uh, office studio office here, we would like to say thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos. Peace, guys. Bye.